Hi, Rusty Stainless here. Some people have been asking me about um, my LiPo battery mod uh, for the um, Bebop 2 and uh, why I would do such a thing. And uh, so I thought I'd run it uh, through with you and, and show you. Um, I'll deconstruct it, even though I've already done the mod. I'll show you what's happened. T5, the T5. What ever is a T5? Uh, I should have learned the name of this tool, whatever that head is. So this is going to do all the work. And I'm a man who likes to have my tweezers. So I can put my bits into my uh, parts trays. I would definitely recommend taking the props off before you start but mine are on so bloody tight I uh, that's the way I got it and um, it's just been a pain in the butt to get them off so um, they're staying on for this uh, this one so first thing is the two screws at the back and over there and tweezers Makes that job easy. Now this is a little bit of a tight fit, this cover, but it's only those two things. And just sort of got to spread it a little bit to help it get up over the GPS. And it's off. I've got to say, I love working on this one. It's actually so easy to work on. Now, GPS sitting on the top here. But let's spin it around and show you what's on the other side. Uh, yeah, my parts tray. So here we have a little connector here which goes to this ribbon cable there, holds it in. And on the bottom, you just got to separate this bottom bit get down there, use a little pry tool, plastic pry tool, and get in there, now that's done, that's easy, it is a very easy little system, only three, three bolts on the top of this um, <laughs> GPS, Probably saying, well, actually, there's five bolts, but only three bolts need to be removed. Because these two bolts secure down some little black plastic thing that I don't even know what that does. So let's put that over there. Now... While we've got this open, I want to show you how easy it is to replace your camera. By only just removing that cover and that GPS, you're now actually very well placed to undo those three bolts there, and you could change your camera. It um, will remove that cover there, and you'll see how that sits on. Um, so, okay, let's remove it. these. There's four bolts that hold this camera frame on. Add a bit more light on here, but uh, unfortunately, I'm working in the dark a bit. When you work in the dark, you do things like that. Undo this one here. And two long screws on the back, I'll just turn this a bit so you can see. So. Quite long, really. Don't know why. Take the one 
off the back here. Now, getting back to that camera, so you just take that plate off. Just get your little pry tool and pop. As easy as that, and the camera's off now, and that frame's all off. Uh, God, there's so much empty space in here. You know, you could um, use the Bebop to smuggle small amounts of diamonds in here and uh, off to another country, fly it over the border. All right, let's put that aside for a second. Now... Mm -hmm. So of course, these two things, these two wires, weren't here to begin with. What was here was the was this standard part, which you probably recognise that sits out the back, which your battery connects to, and that basically was bolted in there. It's attaching to these two poles here so there was five screws to remove and the last trick to removing it was heating these two pads here and pulling this thing forward once that solder uh, released you pull it forward and the two pins they're still actually there they were coming through this this board so that's what this board actually mounted on and was soldered onto so pop that away and that's gone so that leaves uh, these two little um tabs sticking up and you can sort of half see them there under the solder and they're nice and easy to solder to so it's really a great setup the only additional thing that i did and uh, I do recommend this, is you just get a Dremel and clear a little bit extra space around here. And to do that, I did remove this. There's, this is a cover plate that sits over the top of the board. So had to undo all little screws, pop it off, Dremel out that little bit of extra space there. And that just gives you a little extra bit of room to move. And um, once that was done, put that back on. Uh, so easy just to solder two wires on there. And there you go. It's done. So now the battery. And as you can see, this one um, is already um, LI HV uh, capable called a dual voltage and you can see the capacity is roughly the same as a standard power battery and this uh, cost me about 60 bucks so I was pretty happy to be able to get a hold of this and um, I got it locally and um, yeah I thought this will be it I'll put this I'll make this fit onto the drone you can go on here like this I will use Gorilla uh, mounting tape which um, if you've ever had experience with that it's an awesome product so that would go on there like that and the battery attaches like that so I'll just use these tabs here to put a um, velcro strap over to also sort of secure these wires and um, keep this down once you use the grill mounting tape basically that battery st staying on there uh, and not moving there is some weight saving uh, to be had by going down this path you're not um, you know you're not uh, carrying all the extra weight of the plastic that's uh, makes up the battery case um, 
So there's some advantages. So, all right, I've shown you how to access and do it. Uh, the reverse, you put it all back together the same way. So um, my overall thoughts on this, well, I'd say maybe it wouldn't suit everyone. Um, you could still um, just use a Giphy 4000 milliamp battery and, um, you know, you'll probably have a very comfortable run with that, keep tracking your battery levels, um, get yourself the um, balanced charger cables. Um, but for me, with those other experts saying Li. HV is a preferred uh, power source, well then this gave me that option. And um, I didn't think this was particularly a difficult mod, so uh, I've gone down this path, I've tested it, it flies well, and um, I have no regrets uh, doing this. If you're not comfortable with soldering, then stick with the Giphy 4000 milliamp. Anyway, there you go.